Hi everyone, uh, my name is Andrew McBride. Uh, this is Beer Hut Brewing Company. Uh, me and my brother-in-law set up Beer Hut in 2017. So we're based uh, in Kilkeel, County Down. Um, beautiful part of the country, based just at the, the foot of the mountains at one side and then you turn around and you've got the, the sea to your other side. We took the notion to install a, a permanent tap room, built in mind, just keeping it very basic. It was all done by ourselves, we we done it all in house. We want to be able to open it up at the weekends, maybe have pizza uh, and get some of our, our beer uh, nice and fresh. Running a brewery in Northern Ireland is a, is a pretty tough gig, I have to say. Um, if we had known what we know now, would we have went ahead with it? Uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's definitely still a, a growing scene over here, um, but it's, it's definitely, the struggles are real. Generally down to the, the liquor laws, the licensing laws, which we hope is going to be changing very, very soon. And that will allow us to open the doors, uh, invite people in and, you know, drink our, our beer. Uh, we set up shop in 2017. The first year of our existence, we were working out of a tiny little hut. So, beer hut, <laughs> as it were, uh, and then we quickly moved uh, from the hut to the garage to make room for the nice new shiny tanks that we used to make our beer in. Um, it has since moved from uh, the garage down to where we are now. So come on, I'll take you through, we can have a look at the brewery. So here we are, so yeah, we, we brewed out of these tanks. Um, for quite some time, to be honest with you, we, we brewed most of our beer, so it gives you a, an idea of the scale of how small uh, our operation was at one stage. Um, we still have them, we still brew into them, um, but we bought these tanks uh, last year. So at, at the moment we have our two core beers, uh, we've got our core peel and our core IPA uh, chugging away nicely here at the minute, they, they look pretty happy to me. Um, we just dry hopped the IPA this morning, so it'll be getting canned at some stage uh, next week, and it's, it's tasting pretty good. Just, just me here in the brewery, yeah, took it on full time. A big jump it was the right thing to do, uh, and now that there's, there's hands on the ground um, on a daily basis, uh, we, we can definitely see the results of that. The biggest challenge for us running our brewery was doing uh, running a trying to hold down a full-time job and run a brewery at the same time. Um, so we were, we were brewing on a weekend and then we packaged those beers uh, in the evenings through the week. So it was pretty full on. We both had uh, young families um, and it was very, very difficult to balance the time between family life, um, holding down our jobs and then getting in here and building a brand. We get amazing local support. We, we, have, a, we have a very loyal customer base uh, in, in, our, in our area. And they always buy our beer, uh, and they have done since the day and hour that we put the first bottle onto the shelf in, in the local uh, off sales in Kilkeen Wine Market. Most recently, we've been, we've been trying to dip our toe into uh, getting beer into the mainland, um, Scotland, uh, England, and we've, we've been um, selling beer or um, getting our product into the Republic of Ireland as well. So uh, yeah, getting a brand that people want to lift and then be making sure that the liquid that's in the can will bring them back again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do that all in-house ourselves. Uh, so we, we design, design the labels and then we put them all onto the cans ourselves as well, individually one at a time. So it's pretty laborious. I must say, <laughs> I have many conversations with myself through the day. I fall out with myself and then I make up again before I leave every day. Never leave without making up. So uh, I'm going to take you through uh, to the tap room again. Um, we'll set out a couple of beers that we're, that we're going to taste. So. So, here we are, we're in the tap room today, folks. Uh, we're gonna crack into one of these cans. Uh, we're gonna look at our core IPA, uh, which is one of three. Um, we first introduced our core IPAs. Uh, so we, we brewed an IPA, because <laughs> we wanted to. <laughs> All right? <laughs> uh, so we, we wanted to have a, a 
trio of beers in our core range. Uh, we have a Pale Ale, uh, the Session IPA and an IPA. Um, this is probably one of my, my favourite out of the three, uh, if I'm brutally honest. It has Mosaic, which is one of our favourite hops, as well as Citra. Citra is a, is a big house favourite. Let's get it out of the can and into the glass. So our IPA, we kept the grain bill pretty simple. It's just uh, extra pale malt um, with flaked oats. Um, and we wanted to keep it simple, keep the grain bill simple to let the hops uh, shine through. Uh, and in this, we have two very big hitting hops. We have Citra and Mosaic. So we wanted to um, get an IPA into the core range that would be something that we would go and lift ourselves, if that makes sense. Um, it's a, it's a go-to IPA. Uh, it's not too high in the ABV. It's 5.8% for an IPA. That's probably middle of the road to the low side. Um, so it's, it's an approachable IPA. It's not mad on bitterness. It would be more juice forward, um, which is what the Citra and Mosaic are bringing to the table, to be honest. So on the nose, yeah, you really, you definitely get the, the, the citrus notes, which is obviously coming from the citrus, but also passion fruit uh, and stone fruits as well. I get like a little bit of peach. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely on the, the bright uh, and peachy side, in my opinion. So let's give it a little swirl, take a little taste. So it's, it's medium bodied. Um, it's, again, it's, it's easy drinking, um, and it's everything that, that it should be in an IPA. We, we chose to keep the bitterness low uh, on this. Um, most of the IPAs that we brew in the brewery, most of the beer that we brew in the brewery, pale beers in particular, are low on bitterness. And that's because we tend to favour the New England style of beers, uh, which would be more um, juice forward. So we put less hops in on the hot side, uh, and we put the most of our hops in on the cold side, which would be going in dry hop uh, in the fermenter. And that's what gives the beer uh, the delicate uh, aroma and flavor, um, the citrus notes uh, that's in the beer. But I picture myself on a hot day, sitting by a barbecue, flipping burgers. So that's our IPA. Uh, it's bold, it's fruity, it's punchy. Um, it's everything that should be in an IPA. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Cheers everybody at home.